Mr. Speaker, I beg to the following resolution signed in my name. <coughs> Whereas it provided that under Section 221 of the Public Finance Management Act, Cap 15.01, the Act, that the Minister of Finance may, by affirmative resolution of Parliament, <coughs> establish a special fund to collect money that must be used for a specific purpose. And whereas it further provided under Section 222 of the Act that the resolution of Subsection 1 must state the purpose of the special fund, the money to be paid into the special fund, the means of collecting money to be paid into the special fund, the source of the monies of the special fund, the accounting officer responsible for the administration of the special fund, the terms of which the special fund should be nominated. <coughs> and whereas, the Minister of Finance, with the approval of Parliament, considered it necessary to establish a special fund to be known as the Tourism Development Fund, the fund, <coughs> for the purpose of the facilitating the, the, the operations, tourism development, and tourism marketing of the Department of Tourism. And whereas the source <coughs> and money to be paid into the fund comprises the sums allocated by Parliament, the penalties and interest under Section 117 of the Tourism Development Act, number one of 2024, the surplus tourism levy revenue on the section 119 of the Tourism Development Act number 1 of 2024. <clears throat> any grants received by the Department of Tourism in relation to the tourism development, <clears throat> any fees charged on the Tourism Development Act number 1 of 2024, all of the sums that may become payable <clears throat> to or vested in the Department of Tourism in respect of matters incidental to its functions and powers. And whereas Section 23 of the Act relating to payment and accounting procedure applies to the fund. <clears throat> and whereas in accordance with Section 23, 2 and 3 of the Act, the accounting officer administering the fund <clears throat> shall within a period of one month after the end of the financial year, prepare, sign, <clears throat> and submit to the Accountant General statements showing the financial position of the fund at the end of the financial year. <clears throat> B. The statements under paragraph A must include a statement of the assets and liabilities of the fund, a retail statement of receipts and payments of the fund, and a statement of investments and interest or dividends collected, credited to the fund. And whereas the Pullman Secretary at the Department of Tourism is accounting officer who is responsible for administering the fund, and whereas the fund must be maintained unless it is closed by the Minister of Finance under Section 4 of the Act, and whereas the Minister of Finance receives a report from the Pullman Secretary or the Department of Tourism to indicate that the purpose for which the fund was established has been fulfilled or no longer exists. And in the opinion of the minister, there is no likelihood that the purpose for which the fund could lawfully be used will arise in the future or the terms specified in this resolution for the fund has expired. Be it resolved that Parliament <coughs> authorizes the Minister of Finance <coughs> to establish a special fund to be known as the Tourism Development Fund for the purpose of facilitating the operations, the, the operations, tourism development, and tourism marketing of the Department of Tourism. Be it further resolved, <coughs> the source and money to be paid into the fund comprises the sums allocated by Parliament, interest and penalties under Section 107 of the Tourism Development Act, <coughs> number one of 2024, the surplus tourism levy, Revenue on the Section 109 of the Tourism Development Act Number 1 of 2024, the grants received by the Department of Tourism in relation to tourism development, the fees charged on the Tourism Development Act <coughs> Number 1 of 2024, all other sums that may become payable to or vested in the Department of Tourism in respect of matters incidental to its functions and powers, in accordance with Section 23, 2 and 3 of the Act, the accounting, administering, the accounting officer administ administering the fund. Administering the fund shall be within a period of one month after the end of the financial year, prepare, sign, and submit to the Accountant General statements showing the financial position of the fund at the end of the financial year. The statements on the subparagraph one must include a statement of assets and liabilities of the fund, a detailed statement of receipts and payments of the fund, and a statement of investment and interest dividends credited to the fund. Section 23 one of the Act relating to the payment and accounting procedures applies to the fund. The Permanent Secretary of the Department of Tourism is the accounting officer who is responsible for administering the fund. The fund must be maintained unless it is closed by the Minister of Finance under Section 24 of the Act, where the Minister of Finance receives a report from the Permanent Secretary, the Department of Finance to indicate 
that the purpose of which the fund was established has been fulfilled or no longer exists. And in the opinion of the minister, there is no likelihood that a purpose for which the fund could be lawfully be used will arise in the future, or the term specified in, the res in this resolution for the fund has expired. Mr. Speaker, as it's clear that this fund, Mr. Speaker, is to greet the tourism. This fund, Mr. Speaker, is to establish the Tourism Development Fund, Mr. Speaker. The purposes are well stated in this resolution. And contrary to criticism that, that may come upon me, because I give my ministers the responsibility and I have the confidence in them, Mr. Speaker, to deliver the issues that are, on, that are under their portfolio, I do not believe I know all. We don't run a government where one man knows all. We run a government of cooperation, a government where we work together, Mr. Speaker. So the Minister of Tourism will detail, will give fuller details of this resolution. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.